Hey guys, this is Claudia from QuickBooks Experts, Experts of Florida. Um, today we're going to cover a subject that is very popular, and that is Square Transactions. Um, last time we talked about how to synchronize Square Transactions and um, possible errors. Today we're going to continue taking a look at those transactions. So, um, how how do I make sure that my square transactions are properly mapped? And if they're not properly mapped, how do, do I fix the issue? Okay, well, first of all, we're gonna look at the transactions today. So we are in banking. So going into QuickBooks, banking, click on banking. We're going to the account that I wanna, that, that is connected to my square account. And I see here, that there are some matches to deposit. So this is a good thing, right? It is great, but you still need to check to make sure that everything is mapped correctly. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click on the transactions. So when you click on the number under the deposit, this, this box is gonna open. You're gonna click on deposit, it's gonna open. That deposit is gonna open, and it's gonna tell you how this is gonna be categorized. And it says uncategorized expense. So that's a no-no. So this is not properly mapped. In this case, I need to change this. First of all, this is square fee. All right, this is my transaction fee. And I named that transaction fee as square fee. And this is gonna be sales. Okay. And then I can go ahead and save and close. I'm going to see this transaction in banking. And I know that now is correct. So if you want to if you want to double check, you can click on the number again, click on that deposit, and we actually fix here. See that? Square fee and sales. So we know it's right, so we can go ahead and click on match. Same thing with the next one. So we're going to click on this transaction. Now keep in mind that there are some transactions on um, undeposited funds, which is square. I'm going to look at those later, but uh, whenever I clear a transaction, I want to make sure that it's not sitting in here, right? And if it's not sitting in here, I already verify. Uh, this this makes sense. This, this is matching the right amount, but once again, you need to open up that transaction, and sure enough, it is incorrect so the first transaction should be and we see here that none of those transactions up here will match the 476 those are undeposited funds that we have not found the transactions yet and i'm going to talk to you about them and we have another video that talks about undeposited funds you can uh, look at my video record uh, past videos and you see on undeposited funds if you want more details on that so uh, here, like I said, we're going to do square fees. Okay, and here, it's sales. And go ahead and save and close. I know that everything is correct on that deposit right now. So I can actually just click match. And, and so on and so forth. So, so you can correct right from here. Now, to correct the issue, you're going to have to take a look at mapping. This is probably, sometimes it happens with Square, but um, you're going to have to take a look at the mapping by logging into Square and verify how it's synchronized as far as the account goes. We have the, the correct accounts here. Um, sometimes there are issues in Square related to taxes. So, um, and then the amount will not match. Take a look at the, your tax schedule with QuickBooks Online versus what it is in Square. If there is any difference, any discrepancy, that's one thing that can pre uh, prevent from matching correctly. Uh, but like I said, here, we're just gonna fix those transactions. So this is Square Fees and Sales. Okay, and so on and so forth. So I don't want to go ahead and do the same thing over and over and over for 100 transactions. So I'm going to let you try that and let me know if you have any questions. Um, Square sometimes can be a little complicated, if, especially if you have like 
uh, square loans and some of those those uh, deductions from your deposit could be a payment to a square loan. You want to make sure you open up the deposit and you categorize them correctly because if not, everything is going to be categorized either to uncategorized assets or uncategorized income, and we don't want that. <laughs> or in this case, yeah, um, actually uncategorized expense, which is completely out. Nope, that's not what we want. So open up the transaction, click on the number, like I said, to fix it, click on the number, click on the deposit that is trying to match and verify if there is any of those undeposited funds that could be matched. If there's none, then you correct the categorization of the transaction here. Um, and that would be it. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful. I, I understand that square can be a little complicated, but once you know the flow, hey, it's great. It's a great um, software, helps you um, have several transactions without having to enter manually, and then just go ahead and match in banking. So great tools. Hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. You can actually write down below if you have any questions. If there is a subject you'd like me to, to cover next time, Write me a note. I'll be able to cover that next time, hopefully. <laughs> now, like this video and subscribe to our channel so that we can bring more videos like those. We want to be able to sit down here and record and help you out with your bookkeeping. But in order to do that, I need you to like, like those videos and share with your friends and subscribe to our channel so that we can bring more material that is helpful for you and um, help you out with your bookkeeping. So until next time, happy bookkeeping, and I'll see you later.